Hello and welcome back guys to yet another episode in Drive Club. I hope you've been doing well. Um, not to waste time, I'll quickly jump into a race. Team race event, why not? Maybe today is the day when uh, I'll be more lucky. So, seems to be a dry weather conditions with no rain. However, we'll start in at night, which can be tricky at times depending on the track. Uh, some of the um, mountain tracks are very badly lit up and you have to really rely on the uh, map provided and um, kind of use your common sense so depending on the car it can be a tricky task to do <coughs> and uh, dry weather definitely helps a lot so let's see what sort of cars are going to be available today for us to pick from I hope there's going to be something from the range of Ferraris, which I absolutely love. Um, unfortunately, there's not much I can pick from, as not a lot of it, not a lot is available. So I'll pick the only one up for grabs, which is Rymac, Rymac, Rymac Concept One. Not entirely sure what what the car is and um, it seems that all of the um, majority of the competitors went for Koenigsegg so potentially that's the um, that's the car to go here but let's see if um, we can actually compete with them feels like a electric car at least by the noise it produces and uh, at times it can be beneficial I guess um, that was a good way to learn that need to use your brakes a bit more it's quite a tricky um, tricky track I have to say and the electric car performs quite weird the second you hit the the second you go off track um, it just jumps and throws you at the side so uh, not entirely sure that's a nice uh, thing to experience however should um, hopefully um, help you learn to control this beast of a car so so far um, dead last and uh, that's not not particularly good news and uh, my teammate is just uh, one place uh, above which is fourth I believe so let's see if I can uh, close the gap at least a bit and have to say that um, braking is one thing I still haven't really got the grip of still struggling with uh, remembering to brake before actually entering the corner because um, a lot of games I used to play before such as uh, Need for Speed and stuff where the um, physics of the car weren't realistic it didn't really matter you could um, do any corner flat out and you'd be absolutely fine whereas this game it really does make a difference and um, if you think it is really easy and uh, it's just me uh, being a complete lame user then I would really suggest you um, try to get hold of this game it can be a lot of fun once you um, um, understand and get used to the um, controls however the first um, the first uh, few races and maybe even more you will struggle a bit so the um, gap has increased slightly but not uh, massively in the lapse time so um, f I do fall behind even more however it's not um, that much at the minute which is um, good for me so gives a hope that I'll actually get to the um, get to the um, grip of um, driving this car however the minute I start saying some uh, some positive things about uh, my driving actually improving I do mess up 
big times again. Um, the gap I've seen uh, closed a bit, and now, due to me making a few mistakes, it uh, drew again. Let's see if um, I can manage to get the next few corners and maybe the whole next lap in a decent shape and try to close the gap at least a bit. So um, 16 seconds is what it is at the minute. And um, if I get it to down to um, 14 or less seconds I'll be um, really pleased with myself. Let's see if that actually happens in the lap's time. And unfortunately um, the gap is um, growing and I don't really uh, manage to make too many mistakes back there. So it's probably my competitors are also improving their driving ability, driving skills, which doesn't help me by a bit. However, I've managed to um, close the gap here. You can see it's, um, it was 14 seconds in a bit. So um, maybe it was just a glitch of the game that it showed that the gap has increased. Let's see where, where I finished the race at. So it's um, 14, 15 seconds so the good thing is I, I managed to um, keep it relatively flat within the lapse time. So um, if you've seen my previous episodes, if you haven't I would recommend you having a look through them because there are some nice cars I showed off there. I do struggle yet with the whole driving experience, however I swear to god I'll get better. <coughs> <coughs> And one day I'll hopefully be going to be up there with the best of the best. Not entirely sure yet if um, the cars actually make a difference. So um, quite a few of my opponents went for Koenigsegg 1, which seems a very popular choice. And uh, maybe that's, um, that's something that is a better, better car and actually performs better than than the ones available in the basic game set however I'm not uh, entirely sure I want to pay for the extra content at least not yet I'll just jump into the game into the race here so it seems like a team event again and the reason I quickly picked it up was because it's Audi R8 which I haven't driven in this game yet and um, could be quite cool. From memory it's a four wheel drive car so the performance of it should be relatively um, relatively impressive and uh, V10 should make uh, the performance very good. So as you can see 550 brake horsepower, 5.2 litre engine in a car that weighs only um, 1600 um, kilograms. It's a um, hell of an impressive car. <coughs> Would be um would be really cool to uh, actually uh, drive it um, in the real life. So I'd maybe um be willing to go into the uh, one of those race uh, day events where you pay and you have a f have a car of your choice for a few laps to race around. This is a time trial trial, not not the race itself. So. Let's see if I can get to a decent lap and uh, if you've seen my previous episodes you'd know that normally the time trial ones are the ones I'm doing better at and this track I kind of remember because I've driven it uh, a few times already in this series so it kind of is fresh in my mind at least relatively. So let's see if I can get to a um, decent lap 2 and try to maybe compete with these guys at least in this time trial.
I'm not doing so so bad so far, but definitely not uh, not the best performance as of yet. However, the guys aren't really pulling away massively, and uh, it's just a second dump behind the leader. Um, and apologies, two seconds. So there's definitely room to improve. Let's see if I can uh, get anything out of this lap. So, <laughs> last lap from the memory, it was the middle sector where I struggled the, the most. So it's um, this bit going into the next corner, which um, is quite tricky. And I guess it's um, not about the speed, it's about the how tight you can take these corners. And that's one reason why I do struggle, because I do love playing um, Need for Speed. And there, uh, obviously, the whole the whole physics of the cars and the game are very, very different. So I did improve it slightly, however, my opponents managed to get a way better lap. So I felt even further behind, so it was two seconds on the first lap. Now it's uh, s almost three. One thing I, lo I love about this game is um, the fact that um, the cars are built very realistically. You can see the back spoiler there on the Audi when I go over certain speed, just starts uh, racing up, which uh, is exactly the same thing as in the real car. And then once I slow down, the spoiler goes back down to increase the aerodynamics and uh, uh, decrease the drag of the car. So I love these little things, how much attention to detail was put to get this game ready. I don't think this lap will be a massive improvement and it was actually half a second slower than the previous lap I did. And um, I need to start paying more attention to corners and uh, trying to make sure the car actually drives rather than slides in the corners because sliding can seem fun but it's definitely not the fastest way and I do struggle with that at times because uh, I for some reason my cars are always sliding which is never good it's probably more fun to watch it um, if I'm at least uh, not on the top spot at least I managed to drive it a bit um, more fun than I would otherwise. So for example here, this slide definitely didn't help me to achieve any decent speed. However, it looks probably slightly cooler than if I would just go through the corner. Lap again isn't anything good. Almost two seconds slower than my personal best. And I definitely need to try to get it quicker up there because um, Audi should be a relatively stable car to drive and you can see that I've managed to improve the first sector a bit which is good so as long as I don't mess up and potentially even improve on the other two sectors I should improve my overall lap I'll try to make the car slide as little as possible however as you can potentially see I do struggle with it a bit and ah, going off track is never good. So I was still ahead going into um, second sector, but now I guess with uh, that slowdown and going off track, I will struggle to beat my own record. However, never say never. And yeah, by the looks of things, I will be slightly behind. Yes, and it's second. Let's see if this can be the lap. Someone managed to improve their lap even further, which is bad news for me. So I'm now um, almost um, three and a half seconds behind the um, leader. And in theory, I'm on the last possible spot in this race in terms of time. It's not too bad. 
and I'm not falling behind by um, some ridiculous amount of time but this uh, last sector is always the one that um, kills all my chances and hopes for a decent lap time so the top guys are improving their laps even further and I'm struggling to beat um, one minute personal best and uh, by the looks of the how the lap started this isn't going to be the one either it's only if I manage to uh, improve the middle sector massively which um, it doesn't seem that it's going to help really this time around It feels very weird that I'm really struggling with um, this game because I used to be really really good in racing games back in days however the minute the game became realistic I just I just can't do it I'm probably way too used to um, unrealistic need for speed sort of, sort of type of games where you can do a, a corner flat out with no brakes or brake um, while you're in the corner which is definitely fun but it doesn't add to the realistic feel of the car and the race itself This is potentially my last uh, chance to improve my time. So this and maybe another lap is uh, is going to be my last one. So I really need to put more effort and then um, try to squeeze something out of it in order to get out of one minute. That's my personal target for this um, race. If I can improve my lap enough to get outside a minute that would be perfect and this realistically is my last last chance to do it so I don't really want to go too slow through the corners because it um, doesn't really look cool and um, it's not really fun either however to um, get to a um, decent uh, lap time I really need to focus and probably take a bit less risks while on the track it is quite difficult to do because you always try to push yourself a bit further to have a bit more fun, a bit more risk but I guess in this instance it won't really help me much so I think I did a not the best job to get through the last chicane there but it was relatively decent effort from me so I think I might be able to improve slightly but I was wrong I've just managed to do pretty much the same as my personal best which isn't really anything impressive and then if you see right here now I've managed to get a decent uh, first sector however the time is running out so I, I doubt I'll manage to finish uh, the lap but this could have been a uh, nice attempt so you can see every single sector I'm at least a second behind the fastest um, fastest time so it's not miles off but I definitely need to work on it and um, try to shave off those um, valuable seconds there so I hope you guys um, enjoyed this episode um, seeing a new uh, a new car because I don't think I have driven Audi R8 before I've also managed to unlock a new car which by the looks of it is BMW 1 series which could be a fun little car to drive and if I could compete it with um, something like uh, VW Golf and similar sort of cars that would be really cool so hopefully I'll, s I'll get to drive it in one of the next episodes thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed it leave me a comment subscribe to the channel press like 
and I'll see you soon, guys. Cheers. Bye.